Hey, and we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. As usual, it's me, Jake, and today we're talking about Red Dead Redemption. Uh, this one may not be super exciting to some people or anything, but we figured we'd take a quick look at this new Red Dead Redemption release. Now it's ported to PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. So this is technically good, but it's complicated. So l l let's get the elephant out of the way. The good is that Red Dead was only really playable on modern Xbox consoles through backwards compatibility. So now, instead of it being like banished to the PS3 forever, Rockstar released this PS4 port that you can also play on PS5 through backwards compatibility. And uh, Nintendo Switch just never had the game at all. So that's good for Nintendo folks. The bad news though is twofold. Number one, PC players are still left in the dark. And number two, they're asking $50 in the United States for this, which is a really big ask. This is a port of a game from 2010. It's well over a decade old. And other than some new language support they added in, this is just the 2010 game. No features, no remaster, no frame rate upgrade, nothing. It does come with the Undead Nightmare DLC packaged in, which is great, but yeah. You've probably seen it online. People aren't happy with the price and I tend to agree. At the very least, some new people are gonna be able to check out this game. Whether they buy it on sale later, I don't know, but uh, there is added scrutiny after the release of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition, which uh, those versions of the game, like I said in the first video we did on that, it just did not get the love or treatment that it truly deserved. Like those games are legends. So I was a bit nervous as to how this would turn out considering if something like The King, The Pinnacle, Grand Theft Auto could be messed up. I, I didn't know if Red Dead had a shot, but as it would turn out, the results here are seemingly pretty safe. I've been playing both versions for a few days, uh, put a few hours in both, and haven't found any big issues. It's just a straightforward port of the game. Like I said, same quirks, same frame rate, no surprises. So unless like Mexico or something is broken later in the game because I haven't gotten there yet, everything seems all right. The Switch looks and plays well both handheld and on the TV. From the naked eye and like if you're really discerning, it may look a little bit lower resolution and I noticed some slight, slight lighting differences in some scenes, but that's about it. It's a bit harder to notice the dust and heat wave effects on the horizon and the draw distance might be a little blurrier, but this is all me, like I said, really, really looking. It's not jarring at all and it's a version of the game I personally wouldn't have a problem playing all the way through. As you can see here on screen, this is it running on the handheld itself. It is pretty cool to see the game on here, not gonna lie, even though it's 50 bucks. The PlayStation 4 version seems to be fine. I played with it on PlayStation 5, and I did have one instance where John hopped on a horse and then like he blinked and stood on top of the horse. Weird glitch. I couldn't replicate it, but honestly, this could have been a glitch in the original game. And yeah, the frame rate is 30. I did notice it dip a little bit where it would dip in the original game when things got really, really crazy, but ultimately still playable, still solid. I really, really wish it was at a higher frame rate though. Something, especially after replaying it a year or two ago on Xbox, maybe something this will happen down the line, but yeah. So that's ultimately it. If you're an online gamer, a seasoned gamer with seasoned opinions, you should absolutely vote on your wallet with this one. But again, with this game, it's actually just a nice opportunity to talk about Red Dead Redemption and go on record because it's been a while. Red Dead Redemption is awesome, obviously. We're big fans, we have talked about it in the past, but it's something really worth checking out uh, after finishing Red Dead Redemption 2. I know a lot of people personally that only played Red Dead Redemption 2, they never actually played Red Dead Redemption, and uh, the game is, in my opinion, even better after 2, just because it kind of changes things. It makes things feel a bit more sad. It adds a little bit more context and flavor to everything because the original Red Dead Redemption is pretty simple. It's pretty quiet, it's pretty contemplative. So having two, which is technically a prequel, kind of fill in some blanks makes it that much stronger. If you like thinking about games and story and context and characters, this is a good thing. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. 
<laughs> oh, do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Red Dead Redemption 2 is awesome, but the original Red Dead is just a little bit spookier, a little bit quieter, a little bit weirder and stranger, and I think that's what makes it special. It's also got a lot of hallmarks of Rockstar Games at the time, just the vibe, the weight behind John Marston's controls, the music, and just the way it all carries out is just really, really unique, and in my opinion, holds up today. I mean, I am biased. I do still really like Rockstar games, like the video games that they have made throughout the years, so there's that, but it's something worth checking out. It's a simple adventure. It's just got simple stuff in the world, some shops you visit, some bounties you can play through, plenty of mysteries and weird characters to stumble across out there in the West, and a really good but simple progression system where you're just kind of checking off objectives and certain things and hunting in order to unlock new outfits for John, and all the outfits look really cool. I still think the default or the one with the poncho are the best ones, but everybody's got their own personal favorite. Still, you can just wander around, do distractions, get into gambling, play the knife game. And if you, again, if you've never played Red Dead Redemption 2, this, this is kind of like a less complicated version, but it's just as fun. Got the dead eye, it's got some good shooting, enemies ragdoll, they fly around. The feedback behind the shooting is still very satisfying. You get the vibration on both the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation controllers. And it's just a pretty big, fun, engaging world. There's a lot of empty spaces, but that's kind of the point. Honestly, after playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and coming back to this one, where you'd spend a lot of time in similar places, Red Dead Redemption really hammers home the feel of people leaving the Wild West behind. Times are changing, there's telephones, electricity, cars, what have you. And with the original Red Dead Redemption, you're kind of returning to a place that lost a lot of its liveliness. Yeah, there's still towns, there's still people about, you'll see people out on the road, but it just doesn't feel quite the same. And granted, I know it's a lot of just technology. There's not a lot going on in the game because it is from 2010. But actually, if you think about it, story-wise, it also kind of makes sense. Let's go. Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? Now, I know it's fine, even if we don't get like a full remake or anything like that, but I did really wish that maybe we got access to some of the old online multiplayer modes. That would have been fun, and I think that would have made some people happy, maybe even some of the Red Dead Online people happy. They were just good times. But at the very least, like I mentioned earlier, this does come with Undead Nightmare, which you can just access from the main menu, and Undead Nightmare is solid. It's just good zombie and monster shooting in the world of Red Dead as like a spin-off what-if thing. It feels kind of comic booky, and it's something I didn't spend a lot of time with back when the game originally launched. I kind of finished the main game and then moved on very quickly, but this does seem like something worth spending more time in. I, I've never seen it through to the end, so I, I plan on possibly doing that. Maybe on the train, on my Nintendo Switch. So if you can't tell, I really like Red Dead Redemption. I really have enjoyed playing through it so far again, and thankfully, without any issues, it is just a port. There is nothing sexy, there is nothing exciting about it. I mean, unless you are one of the new languages supported, I think that's a good win for you, but there's really not much to it. And you know what, after playing it, I'm okay with it not being completely remade or anything like that because they could have screwed something up. It's fine just re-releasing something, but I just really wish it didn't cost 50 bucks out of the gate. Because as much as I love this experience and you just listen to me gush about it, that is way too much. Like not even a couple little bonus features, developer commentary, like new concept art, like an anniversary thing, nothing. It is straight up just, here's the game, it's on a modern marketplace now, give us 50 bucks. But hey, everybody's wallet, everybody's opinion, everybody's preference is different, so let me know in the comments what you think. I think for some people, like if they're on Nintendo Switch and they've never experienced this game because they only have Nintendo platforms, 
I really want to know what you're thinking about this. But let's talk anything Red Dead Redemption down in the comments. Specifically, if you have any insights about revisiting the original game after playing Red Dead 2, like I did, lots of thoughts, a lot we can go into. But for now, just hit us up down there and uh, hopefully this helped. You know, we just wanted to get some gameplay on screen for you guys so you could just check it out and see for yourselves. So yeah, if you like that, if you appreciate that, click the like button because it does help us. Thank you. But that's it. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.